I feel like he does, but anyway, it's the 12th of Feb. Um, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. That's a beautiful hair, don't you mean? So, as I was on a fluff walk, she's. she's oh, yeah, look, you can't see it. She's Anna. She stopped to look at me. Um, we're doing a bit of recall training, but she's uh, she's more stubborn than you'd think. Um, unfortunately, though, having done a bit of research into her, she's. I don't want to stereotype, but she is a person's. Uh, she was a person's dog, and they've gone to prison. So, unfortunately, knowing the type of dogs most prisoners have, I mean, I don't know what this person went to prison for or anything like that. Um, but she was taken as prisoner's property, held in police kennels, and taken to another rescue, and then ended up at her last rescue, and obviously now she's been her forever home. Um, obviously the issue being, though, having lived, I'm assuming, with the said prisoner for eight years of her life, she's now nine, I don't know the training, I don't know if she was a family dog, I don't know if she was like a drug dog that was used as the backup or whatever, I'm not sure. But seeing how rough she can play, I'm going to say that she doesn't really have much training and the fact that, I mean, like, we were out... We started playing and I mean she fully, like you can see, fully grabbed her arm, like I felt teeth, there was clamped down. Now most dogs don't clamp down, like they mouth goes round when we play but we don't clamp down and it was at that point that either she doesn't know her own strength. This is just this is stunning. Yeah, yeah. Either she doesn't know her own strength, and that's her somewhat figuring it out, uh, or she's the type of dog that will one day, unfortunately, snap with the wrong person and end up having to be put down or something, which I don't want to think about. But if I can't. If I can't train her, then that's kind of where it's going to get to. So I'm just going to have to talk to her owner. Hopefully, her owner is a bit receptive, and we can we can work with her because she's a lovely girl, and she loves she loves her owner to freaking pieces, and I know that, but. I mean, the rescue said she was dominant, and she definitely is. Whether she needs a dog to put her in her place, or or what, I don't know. But I know for now she needs a lot of mental stimulus at home. She needs stuff to keep her brain ticking over. She needs a lot of just mental stimulus while she's at home, which. I know she's not getting, so we're going to have to create some little games and stuff for her that our owner can do. Um, but yeah, other than that, all is good, apart from the arm being yanked off by a job, but just, just cool. Um, the Chunky Monk and the Dodor Dodors are at home. Uh, and I've got another walk after this at one, but other than that, we are all good, we are chill for the day. Um, we're gonna go see Jane, help her out, she's gonna have a bit of printed trouble and shit, so 
we're going to do that. We're going to have a transfer all of our stuff. So we're one laptop, so no laptop. And, and just, just going to go and be the helpful side of the granddaughter. Um, and yeah, that's about it for today. Uh, sorting out mum's birthday presents. Her birthday is this Tuesday, the 16th. So, I'm just trying to get together the last pieces of that. And then I'm going to try and figure out when to like surprise her with all the presents. But, yeah. All fun and games. But I mean, look. Look at this view. tree from here. I wouldn't because they're too beautiful but I mean if I really stick it on it's really beautiful sir. But anyway I'm going to leave for now. I'll catch up with you when I'm home or when I'm out on the next fluff walk.